Hey folks, uh, I'm doing a voiceover video today because it's so windy in the garden. I promised I would do a video in the garden and here we are. It's, it's really windy out there so it's difficult to film and there's just not a lot going on. But I thought I'd do a little, uh, in the browns frozen salad, I thought I'd do a little uh, follow up on a video I did about a month ago uh, showing my cold frames and what's growing in them. Let's see what's happening. Uh, so a month ago, uh, oh my goodness, time warp. A month ago I was out here uh, in this co uh, the middle cold frame. And I harvested the kale out of there, and I left some in there, right? I, I left about, I don't know, about, like, you know, the plants were that size before I did the harvest. And then I uh, left about that much, right, like four or five inches on each plant. And that was a month ago, almost to the day. Um, and just to see if anything would grow, what's, what's going to happen here, right, in this amount of time. Because um, my theory or prediction is that the, based on the amount of light we get here, uh, there's just not going to be much going on in that cold frame. So, oh, time warp again. Back to the present day. Um, so it's a kind of a shame. Oh, I guess I am wearing different clothing here. That's good. Uh, so <laughs> I was worried I was wearing different clothing or the same, the exact same clothing. But I'm wearing the checker jacket today. Uh, so I guess it's some. Uh, <laughs> you can go back and look. There's a film uh, video uh, about a month ago where I, I came out here and picked these. It looks warmer now, but it's actually uh, quite cold. It's probably around minus 12 right now as I record this outside. Um, we just don't have any snow on the ground. Uh, anyway, as you can see. Um, not much has happened, right? Really, there's no growth uh, that I can even, there's no perceptible growth that I can even see. The plants are still alive. Uh, they're surviving. And I've done everything I can to uh, give these plants a chance, right? Um, I've insulated the cold frame well. I've kept it closed uh, on really warm days. I come out, uh, I've given it water a couple times. But the water really isn't having much effect because there's nothing growing. There's no photosynthesis. We don't get any sun here. Or we don't get enough for this you know, for anything other than hibernation shutdown to happen. Um, so that's where we are. I thought I'd just kind of stick my hand in here and give you a sense of, of scale and uh, what size those plants are. They haven't grown at all. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is just for those of you that maybe have tried this and it hasn't worked. Um, it's probably just because you don't get a lot of light. In some places you can get better results with cold frames in the winter. In some places you can't. If it's uh, you live somewhere where it's overcast a lot in the winter, uh, just not much goes on. Uh, now, I got another cold frame off to the side here. I didn't harvest this one. So these plants were moved here um, in uh, early October when I, when I pulled out the peppers that have been growing there. And um, these were full-sized plants. They were the same size as the other ones a month ago when I when I harvested, but I didn't harvest here. I just left them. See how they're all flattened out? And just like they just had the tar kicked out of them by cold. Uh, I'm sure with slightly better cold frame design and so on and so forth, I get a little bit better results. But there's just, if you don't have any sun uh, and it's cold, you can even see some, um, you know, what those white spots are basically frost damage, cold damage, right? I mean, kale's a tough plant, but it can only take so much of you know, minus 10. And look at the, the Swiss chard in there as well, which everybody says is tough. It's been flattened right out. It's still alive. The plant's alive, right? Because uh, the cold frame has kept this little area of soil and garden uh, better, you know, warmer than uh, other parts of the garden. Right? Everywhere else where I left uh, kale, Swiss chard in the ground, um, it's just totally nuked is dead and the soil here I just threw my mitten in there so I was I made sure the camera was pointing in the right direction uh, you ever see me throw something into the center of the camera screen it's just because I'm trying to figure out make sure my camera's pointing at the right thing and I grabbed a stick here and tried to get into the ground and uh, <laughs> it's frozen now this one's about four inches the, the soil level is about four inches above grade here so of course it's not going to be as well insulated as, as if it was at grade. Um, I got another garden off to the far right where I got spinach and actually some of that soil uh, when I tested it uh, wasn't frozen uh, but that's at grade. So this is the spinach garden here. So I planted the spinach around the first of October and it germinated and got started uh, but it really hasn't grown uh, at all. <laughs> it, gets, it got started and then it has just stopped. And I'm, again, uh, there was going to be busy, oh, you just need to do this, you just need, you need to do that. I'm sure there's, I can put more time and energy into my cold frames to get better results. But I, don't, I think they'd be marginally better, really, with the amount of sun I get here. So just don't get a lot of sun in the winter. And not because of my uh, latitude, but because of just the, fact, the combination of the latitude 
and the fact that uh, it's overcast a lot. We just don't get sun. Uh, I've got a video, if you look back, it's more like a presentation or a PowerPoint presentation where I, I speak to that and, and show some tables and charts and graphs that sort of explains all of that if you're interested. But I mean, look at the size of the, that's the current, the current day, small, smaller than the tip of my finger, right? So, uh, oh, time warp! Let's go back. Let's go back and look at these a month ago. <laughs> you see any difference? It put some little lines in the uh, old timey type uh, film, but anyway, um, this is a month ago, and look at the uh, look at the state of my spinach. There's no difference, right? I mean, it's the same size. Look at look at the tips of my fingers relative to the size of the leaves, right? Um, so there's really not a lot going on, um, you know, with with this uh, spinach, which is. It's not because cold frames don't work, it's just they, the plants need light, right? The soil needs to be a certain temperature for the roots to draw up nutrients, and the, um, the plants need to be getting a certain amount of light for the photosynthesis to happen. And uh, this time of that's the reason uh, most of nature shuts down this time of year, because things don't want to grow. So, I mean, yeah, sure, do your cold frame, have your fun, do, sure, whatever. Um, but if you're going to expect amazing results, and if you're not getting them because you it could just be that you're like me, don't get a lot of sun in the winter. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we are, back to the present. And uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at the garden. There's just, everything's just frozen up. That's why I've been doing a lot of uh, video in the woods and stuff like that. It's just something I like to do in the winter, and uh, it's what I enjoy. And uh, it's just not a lot happening. So uh, <laughs> I hope you found that interesting. It was a useful follow up. It's, uh, it's very cold outside, but uh, see, it's cold. <laughs> um, I'll do another follow-up in a month on the cold frames and, uh, you know, got some other things on, uh, planned to do as well. So uh, thank you for your continued viewership. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun outside.